In the coming 21st century, there's going to be 7 billion people getting older. And one of the, th the, one of the issues about getting old, or even as we age normally during our lifespan, is that cells in our body have to be replaced. There's a constant generation of certain cells and they have to get replaced. Anyone who just rubs their skin will see some skin cells fall off. And in, in us, what happens is at the bottom of the skin, there are certain cells that divide with a certain frequency to replace the cells that come away. They don't do it too fast, they don't do it too slow. It has to be exactly the right uh, rate of replacement. And those cells are called stem cells, and they're called stem cells because it's a little bit like um, the origin of the cells in the skin. In the hair follicle, for example, there are stem cells. Every time we lose a hair normally, the hair follicle gets regenerated, we grow a new hair. And the hair, when we're younger, comes out again, being pigmented, whatever color we were born with. And the cells responsible for that, so-called pigment cells, melanocytes, when the hair comes out, they also come out, and the whole hair follicle and new melanocytes get regenerated from stem cells. So, in terms of an aging population, one of the challenges for the 21st century is not just um, provision of health care, it, it's an, an prevention of death and, and making people live longer, it's providing quality of life. And one of the major issues with quality of life is loss of stem cells. I mean, loss of colour in hair is not such a major issue for many people. But the, that's just indicative of the loss of stem cells on, on the regeneration of, of tissue in other parts of our body. If that doesn't work efficiently, we start to get problems with joints, with, with, with injuries that don't heal and so on. And in the long term, that can mean that we age and the quality of life goes down. So one of the things that we'd like to do is to use our knowledge of stem cells to try and provide what's called regenerative medicine. If we get a tissue that's damaged, if we get a damaged liver or a damaged heart from heart disease that kills some cells in the heart so it doesn't work efficiently, wouldn't it be lovely if we could take other cells from our body, induce them to become new heart cells, induce them to become stem cells for the heart, put them into the heart, regenerate new heart tissue, so the heart now works much more efficiently. So that's one of the major challenges that we face in terms of normal stem cell biology. How do we use our knowledge of stem cells for regenerative medicine? And I think that is going to be it's going to become more and more important as the world's population does start to age more and we are getting more and more old people.